Ah, there's a red, red dot. How do you like my new hat? Uh, I was having bugs crawl up underneath my ball cap, and this thing has a flap on it. I know I fell down on my videos on the Appalachian Trail. I am in New Jersey. I just passed uh, High Point State Park, uh, Sunfish Pond, uh, oh, a couple glacier pond, uh, lakes, and uh, the walking isn't too bad, and so I don't have to worry about dropping the phone. I got another crack in the protective glass. In fact, I got two. And, uh, and one time there must have been an old farm around here because there's a stone fence. Uh, so there's like three state parks in a row here. Unionville's up ahead in the uh, secret shelter. And then there's one more shelter beyond it. Uh, but I gotta go through the bog and the wildlife refuge, a refuge, yeah, refuge. And uh, but the walking is pretty good here, as you can see. Um, it's 10:20, and I didn't get on the trail uh, until 8:30, and I stopped and took a selfie, and. Back at the tower, the wooden tower back there, I took a bunch of pictures. And I started to go up the, the monument. And I'm like, I need to get some mileage. Because I've been running behind because it's been so uh, humid. and The wind's blowing today, so I'm trying to make up some miles. I, I'm like 40 miles behind in, in uh, 10 weeks. So... I thought I'd take advantage of trying to make some mileage today. Uh, I resupplied in Port Jarvis. I uh, went and uh, went to a hostel, washed my clothes. Uh, me and Nana, we, we shared the washer and dryer together and uh, ate supper at uh, one. Uh, craft beer place and they had food for her and I got a big cheeseburger and pickled uh, vegetables and two beers and uh, and we went and picked up some groceries and so I'm back to 43 pounds with some extra goodies I had given to me at the next to the last shelter I was at before I went to the hostel and uh, I picked up some more protein bars and uh, resupplied my main meals and my oatmeal and I put the rest of the oatmeal in the hiker box and uh, so I didn't have to carry it because I'm trying to I'd like to go keep it lower and 43 pounds, but uh, it seems as though uh, the uh, it just I just can't cut it down any lower than 43 pounds. Of course, I also picked up a little birthday present from my wife. She's supposed to come up, and so that's in the backpack. And, and uh, I gotta get her a card yet, and. Uh, so when she sees that this video, she'll know that I was thinking of her. And uh, it's not much, but at least at least she knows I was thinking of her. And uh, I uh, happy to report that uh, New Jersey has two rabbits in it. I've seen two rabbits so far on the trail, a fawn with no spots, so it was one of the early fawns, and I saw two doe, and before NCO, 
I was camping up in the woods in my tent, and a deer come up and was snorting and prant, uh, taking and pounding her leg to try to get me, my uh, tent to move because it didn't know what the hell it was. And my stomach growled, so it took off. It snuck back around, and she got so close. I think it was a doe. I, uh, I had, earlier I had seen a little four point in velvet, and uh, we, she was snorting and uh, stomping, and I could feel the ground move under under my tent. She was that close. I got the flashlight out and tried to scare her away, and. The second attempt, I, I did it. I must have got the, the white light in her eyes, and that scared her pretty good. And she took off down through there, snorting, and, and uh, didn't come back. And then thunderstorm come in, and it was a eventful night. And then I ran into Nana, who's a 72-year young lady about four foot, maybe three, and uh, we spent three nights, well, in three days together, and then we went into the hostel, but she's taken two zeros, she asked to mail her mailbox, her, her drop box, to the next place, and she has to go to the post office tomorrow morning, and she's going to hit the trail. But uh, hopefully in 12 days, my wife's going to come up, and I'll take four zeros, and then I'll hopefully catch up to Nana. She's a card. Uh, I mean, how many women would go from... Uh, she's actually doing a long section... She's going from below the Mason Dixon line clean up to Mount Washington. She says, I'm walking home. And uh, she's hoping to make it up there. But if she don't, uh, in her time limit, then she's not going to worry about it. But I hope she makes it. Uh, and I'm pressing on trying to get to. to uh, Baxter State Park and get up the mountain and before the bad weather hits and then I'll turn around and go from Hamburg down to 19E to finish my through hike. So, well, it'll be a flip-flop, but uh, because of the weather or my hernia and taking nine, nine weeks off and then uh, uh, between Wind Gap and uh, Delaware Gap, I come down with poison oak, my eyes were swelling shut, and I knew I had to get to the doctors, so I come, called my wife, she come up, took me to the doctors, and I got the shot, and the pills, and I was over it pretty good, it wasn't quite over the rash, and, uh, but it was fading, so I decided to hit the trail, and my wife walked over the, the uh, PA New Jersey line and down to the far end of the bridge, seeing me off with Spike the Wonder Dog, and then she hiked back to the car and went home, and, and uh, if my step-granddaughter Samantha sees this uh, video. Happy birthday again. I called her yesterday and sung her a little bit of happy birthday. So, uh, she knows I was thinking of her. Big 118, you know, and uh, it's a little milestone for a kid. I remember my 18th birthday. I hope hers was memorable. And uh, 
So anyways, if my wife doesn't get up, I'll have to mail her birthday gift home because I ain't carrying it clean in the, for a couple months. And uh, so them, happy birthday, Retta, honey. Uh, I do miss you. I miss your cooking real bad. Uh, this trail food, I'm eating a little different. I was getting heat, uh, I burn up all electrolytes and I was getting crampy. So I got some Gatorade and I'm cutting it with water. It's helping. And of course I ate the, the pickled vegetables, that'll help too. And uh, if it keeps going, I'm gonna have to, I'm looking for uh, leopard light powder. So I'm going downhill. So I thought I'd show it to you. It's a pretty nice trail so far. I mean, it was stony and a little bit steep coming up to get over over the, past the, the shelter, but it wasn't bad. Uh, did that section. A little under an hour and I stopped off and took pictures so uh, that's not bad I just uh, trying to go as far as I can today I hope the wind keeps blowing and uh, if that keeps blowing it'll make my life a little pleasanter and I, here's the switch back I'm going to show you, you see the, it's, if the white spot's on this, it's left turn, if it's on that t side, it's right turn, uh, the signal that uh, the trail's changing direction. There's another long stretch down, so I'm coming down out of High Point Mountain. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot easier walking. That's why I'm trying to get the mileage up. And because uh, I was only doing eight, nine, one day I did ten. It just humidity was just knocking my butt off. The AT weather says ch chance of thunderstorms, thirty percent rain, and. Uh, the weather said 30% rain, and uh, but not quite high high 80s in heat today. Uh, I thought I heard somebody approaching me. I was going to get out of the way. Well, anyways, this is Wolfman 276 on the Appalachian Trail signing off. Uh, sorry to. Uh, I was running out of minutes on the phone, and my wife got some more minutes so I could use gut hooks and send pictures and do what I had to do. And, uh, gut hooks hasn't been working quite right for the past, you know, this morning it, it didn't want to work, and I had to go on uh, online, I don't know what's going on. There's a bug in the system, I guess. So anyways, we will catch you later. I'm signing off.